Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And a very good morning. So today, uh, we will continue uh, our lecture with chapter 6. And this is the last chapter for subject utilization of electrical energy, which is uh, about the illuminations. So before uh, we go further, we recite first Surah Al-Fatiha. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this is the outlines for chapter six illumination. So we have ten uh, subtopic. Uh, first one is introduction. Okay. Second one. Important definitions in lighting. Uh, we will cover the luminous flux, what is luminance, what is luminous intensity, the luminance, and etc. And then uh, laws of illumination, and then uh, sources of light. Uh, we will cover types of lamps and their characteristics, uh, levels of lighting, lighting schemes, electrical lighting design, methods of lighting, requirements of proper lighting. Industrial lighting, street lighting, flat lighting. Okay, uh, so we start with the introduction. So light is just uh, one portion of the various electromagnetic waves flying through space which have both uh, frequency and length. So we can see here from this figure, uh, we can see that the light is traveled from sunlight to the, to the earth. Okay, you can see here, right? From sunlight, it will go to the uh, to the surface of the earth. So the light from the sun looks white, but it is really made up of all the colors of the rainbow, which are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. Sunlight reaches earth and atmosphere and is scattered in all directions by all the gases and particles in the air. So blue light is scattered in all directions by the tiny molecules of air in the Earth's atmosphere. Blue is scattered more than other colors because it travels at shorter, smaller waves. So that is why um, we see or the observer sees the blue sky most of the time. Okay. So um, we have uh, for the light has three types. Uh, which are ultraviolet, visible light, and infrared light. Okay, the first one is the ultraviolet. So ultraviolet uh, radiation covers the wavelength range of 100 to 400 nanometers, which is higher frequency and lower wavelength than visible light. Uh, ultraviolet radiation comes naturally from sun, but it can also be created by artificial sources and it is used in industry, commerce and recreation. The second one is the visible light. Okay, so light or visible light is electromagnetic radiation within the portion of the electromagnetic um, spectrum that can be perceived by the human eyes. Visible light is usually defined as having wavelengths in the range of 380 to 770 nanometer between the infrared with longer wavelengths and also the ultraviolet with shorter wavelengths. This wavelength means a frequency range of roughly 430 to 750 terahertz. Okay, and the third one is the infrared light. So infrared light uh, or IR is electromagnetic radiation, EMR, with wavelengths longer than those of visible light with range of 770 to 1 million nanometers. It is therefore generally invisible to the human eyes. So this infrared, uh, infrared light is used in industrial, scientific, military, law enforcement, and medical applications. Okay. Um, in physics, 
emission is the process by which a high energy quantum mechanical state of a particle becomes converted to a lower one through the emission of a photon resulting in the production production of light okay so light is emitted through the first one is in sand then says okay and solids and liquids emit visible light radiation when they are heated to temperatures about thousand uh, degree of kelvin the second one is emitted through electric discharge when an electric current is passed through a gas the atoms and molecules emit radiation whose spectrum is characteristic of the elements present. The third one is electroluminances. Light is generated when electric current is passed through certain solids such as semiconductor or phosphor materials. And finally, photoluminances. Radiation at one wavelength is absorbed usually by a solid and re-emitted -emit, uh, at a different wavelength. So, um, energy consumption via lighting systems is significant. The global electricity consumption for lighting in 2005 is estimated at 3,418 terawatt hour. Okay, for example, it is 19% uh, uh, of total global electricity consumption. Okay, today the global light consumed in lumen by different sectors can be divided as 44% uh, for lighting of commercial and public building, 29% for industrial lighting, 15% for residential lighting, and 12% for the outdoor lighting, streets, security, um, road signs, and car parks. Okay, so uh, this figure shows the percentage of energy consumption for lighting for different types of buildings and applications. Okay, there are two objectives of lighting uh, designer. The first one is to provide the right quantity of light. So the right number of lighting for certain place. And the second is to provide the right quality of light. Means that provide right quality of light based on the standard lux for specific place. Okay, there are two things, eh? two objectives which are the quantity and also the quality of the light. Okay, first uh, we look on to the, uh, the important definitions of lighting. The first one is the luminous flux, uh, F, and the SI unit is lumen. Okay, luminous flux is the measure of brightness of a light source in terms of energy being admitted. Luminous flux in SI units is measured in the lumens, okay, lumens. So, in simple terms, luminous flux is also the total amount of visible light powered emitted by a light source. Um, okay, so the higher the lumen rating, the brighter the light will appear, okay. And then uh, one lumen, okay, one lumen equivalent to the photometric equivalent of the watt. So the luminous flux is photometrically weighted radiant flux, which is the power, and defined as 1 over 680 watts of radiant power. Okay, so luminous flux, okay, F, equivalent to 1 over 683 watts. Or, so we can see here, means that, or, 1 watt is equivalent to 683 lumens. Okay? So, 1 lumen equivalent to the luminous flux over meter square of a sphere 
with one meter radius and a one candle isotropic light source at the center. Okay. And a one watt equivalent to 680 lumens at 555 uh, nanometer wavelength. Okay. The next one is illuminance I or the SI unit is lux. So illuminance is the light uh, level, the amount of light arriving on a working place. Okay, so this one. Eh? So the amount of light arriving on a working place. Plane. So one lux equivalent to one lumen over meter squared. This value is used in light calculations and design plans. So all unit in foot candles, one lux equivalent to 0.0929 foot candles. Okay, for example, 1000 lumens concentrated into an area of one square meter lies up that uh, square meter with an illuminance of 1000 lux. The same 1000 lumens spread out over 10 square meter produce a dimmer illuminance of only 100 lux. What? What is this means? Okay, so it means that uh, one lux, one lux equivalent to one lumen over square meter. So the first one, it tells about one thousand uh, lumen. Okay over one square meter so equivalent to thousand lux okay this one okay thousand lumens so with one square meter the illuminance of thousand lux the second one is uh, the same thousand lumens but we have uh, 10 square meter, okay, the space, the size of the space, then it will get 100 lux. Means that number 2,000 lumen, you divide by 10 uh, square meter, you will get 100 lux. Okay, that is the definition of this example. Okay, um, next is the luminous intensity, P. Uh, the unit, uh, SI unit is the candela, candela CD. So, equivalent to lumen over steradian uh, or lumen over uh, steradian. Uh, SR is steradian, steradian. So, measure of the luminous flux emitted by a light source in a particular direction measured in lumen per uh, steradian. Okay. So, for example, here uh, we have a round. Okay, so we have here is the uh, center. So we have this is the radius. Okay, and then we have here like that. So we have here. Then we can see here like this. For example, now. Uh, uh so we have the here is equivalent to one stay radian okay and then here is the one stay radian and we have here is the a a equivalent to uh the radius square radius okay so a equivalent to the radius okay square radius okay so a steradian uh, can be defined as a solid angle subtended at the center okay this one uh, subtended at the center of a unit sphere by a unit area on its surface so that we call uh, a steradian SR so this uh, graphical representation of one steradian, the sphere uh, has uh, the radius R, 
And in this case, the area A of highlighted surface patch is R squared. The solid angle ohm is ohm like this. Okay. The symbol is like this. Okay. The solid. This one is the solid angle. Okay. The solid angle equals to A over uh, square R steradian. Okay. Solid angle. Solid angle equivalence to A over R squared stay ready. Okay. So the entire, uh, so this entire sphere, okay, this one is the entire sphere, has a solid angle of uh, 4 pi steridian. Okay, this entire sphere has the solid angle, the solid angle of this entire sphere, which is the O, the symbol of O, equivalent to uh, 4 pi C radian. Okay, so for you have to uh, pi we know one three point one four two. Okay, so you will get twelve point five six six four st radians. Okay, so the unit is the solid angle for this. Um, the unit for this solid angle is the steradians, okay? So, the whole, um, the entire sphere has a solid angle of 12.5664 steradians. Okay, uh, next one is the light brightness. Uh, we talk about the luminance. Luminance is the candela over square meter. Measure of the density of luminous intensity in a given direction. It, de it describes the amount of light that passes through or is emitted from a particular area and falls within a given uh, solid angle. That one is about the luminance. Okay. So, uh, this figure, you can see here, this figure shows the light bulb. Okay, this one is the light bulb. The light bulb producing one candela. So the candela is the base unit in light measurement and is defined as follows. A one candela light source emits one lumen per stay radian in all directions isotropically. Okay, so this figure shows luminous flux, which is the light source, luminous intensity P. Uh, this one is the light source, okay, the luminous flux has the light source. And then we have the luminous intensity, one candela, okay. And then we have the illuminance, so I equivalent to uh, one lux. So this one is the illuminance. Equivalent to one lumen over square meter, okay, or zero point zero nine two nine lumen per uh, per square feet. Okay, so uh, maybe this one we also can summarize. The important of uh, definitions of lighting as like this. Okay. So, for example, here. Uh, okay. I think uh, we can uh, show here. So, we have here is the... Uh, 
sun. Okay, here we have the sun. Okay, and then we have object here. Okay. So we have here is the sun and this is the object. Okay, object. So what we have here is um, here is and then goes there. Okay, the sunlight. Okay. So when we talk about so here is the the sun have the luminous luminous flux okay so okay the luminous flux is from the from the sunlight from the sunlight source and then we have the luminous intensity okay sorry we have here is the luminous intensity luminous intensity and then goes to the object so reach the object reach the the, the plane of the object we call it as the luminance okay luminance which is in the si unit is in lux and then from here uh, that the amount of light that passes through or is emitted from a particular area so we call as the luminance okay luminance which is the candela over square meter so this is the what we can summarize of the important definitions in lightning the luminous flux the luminous intensity the illuminance and also the luminance Okay, uh, now we proceed with the important definitions in lighting uh, about the uniformity. So, the uniformity of illuminance describes how evenly light spreads over an area. Uh, so, non-uniform illuminance creates bright and dark spots which can distract the dis and discomfort some occupants. Okay. The second one is the glare. So glare is dalam in Malay we call silau. Eh? Glare is a sensation caused by relatively bright objects in an occupant's field of view. The keyword is relative uh, because glare is most probable when bright objects are located in front of dark environments. Okay. And then we have the color rendering. The color rendering of a light source is an indicator for its ability of realistically reproducing the color of an object. Color rendering is given as an index. So normally we call color rendering index or CRI. So this index is between uh, 0 and 100, where low values indicate poor color rendering and higher ones good color rendering. So other index used is we can also use 1A, extremely good, 1B very good, 2 moderate, 3 low, and 4 little or almost none. And then we have the color temperature. So the SI unit for this color temperature is Kelvin. Uh, the term color temperature describes the color of light emitted by a particular light source or color appearance of a lamp and the light it produces. So, uh, it expressed in uh, Kelvin. So, below 3,300 Kelvin, the source is considered as warm light. But above uh, 5,300 uh, Kelvin, the source is considered as cold light. Okay. Uh, while incandescent lamps is a true value. Other forms of the artificial light, such as the fluorescent light, the high, uh, the HID, the high intensity discharge, and also the LED, are expressed as correlated color 
uh, temperature, which is CCT, because it is an approximate value. Okay, uh, this is the figure uh, of the color temperature. From this figure, the lower number, you can see here, which is this part, the lower number, uh, the warmer the white light appears. While the higher Kelvin, okay, this one, the higher Kelvin will appear cooler. Color temperature generally range from 2700 to 3300 Kelvin for warm to 3,300 3, 3, to 5,300 Kelvin for cool and 6,500 Kelvin is daylight. Okay? Okay, for the laws of illumination, we have two types. The first one is the inverse square law and the second one is the Lambert's cos sine law. So, what is the inverse uh, square law? It defines the relationship between the illuminants, which is the lux, from a point source and the distance. While the Lambert's cosine law states that the illuminance falling on any surface varies as the cosine of the incident angle, theta. So we look at the first law, which is the inverse square law. So uh, from, uh, from this figure, okay, we can see that uh, intensity of the irradiation produced by a point source varies inversely as the square of the distance from the source. So the illuminance from a point source can be put in the form of I. This one is the illuminance. Uh, so this one is the illuminance. Okay, illuminance. And the SI uh, unit is lux. The uh, equivalent to the P, P is the luminous intensity. Okay, luminous. Uh, intensity or also we can call pointants okay pointants so basically uh, the unit is candela and then we have this one is the distance okay distance square which is in meter okay so from the figure we can see that when double this the distance so from here to here this one is r and then goes to 2R. So from uh, when we double the distance, which is R to 2R, uh, so the quarter the energy from I to I divided by 4. Okay? So we look at the example, the first example of the inverse square law. Okay? Now we have, uh, this one is the source from the in, in the incandescence uh, light bulb. Okay? So in this question, we want to find what is the I1, okay? So we have the I1 here, and then we have the I2 here, okay? Uh, basically, we don't know the what is I1. So we have to find what is I1. And given that I2 is 10 lumens per meter squared. And then we have D1, okay? D1 is 0 0.5 meters. D1 is from here to the first, uh, first point. And then we have D2. D2 from the source to the second point, which is D2. So D2, okay, equivalent to 0 0.5 times 0 0.5. Then you get 1 meter, okay? So you have to use I1 over D2 squared, equivalent to I2 over D1 squared. Okay, then you can use this uh, mathematical formulation. Then you have, uh, you want to find the I1. So you have the D2. D2 is 1 meters. D1 is 0 0.5 meters. You squared and times with the I2, which is 10 lumens per meter squared. Then you can get the I is 40 lumens. I1 is 40 lumens per meter squared. So we can see that when it doubles the the distance double, okay, the distance is double from 0 0.5 to 1 meter. So the energy is reduced from uh, 40 lumen per meter squared to 10 lumen per meter squared. That is the inverse square law.
Okay. Uh, so we look at the second, uh, the second uh, laws of illumination, which is the Lambert cosine law. So in this law, it states that illuminance at a point on the plane, okay, this one is the point of the plane, is proportional to the cosine of the angle of light incident, which is the angle between the direction of the incident light, okay, incident light, B2, and also the normal to the plane, okay, B1. So this is the angle, okay. So the illuminance or the intensity of illumination is written as I equivalent to F divided by D1 squared. This one is for the normal. Okay, normal point. Which, one, the, uh, which this is for the D1. And this one is for the, uh, the incident light, D2. Okay, so for D2 have the cos theta. I is the illumination. I is the illumination. Sorry, illuminance, which is the which is the standard, uh, the standard unit of SI is uh, lux, and then F is the uh, luminous flux. Okay, luminous flux. Okay, uh, so the SI unit is in lumen, lumen, and then we have D is the distance, so the SI unit is in meter. Okay. So for the normal D1, we use this equation. And then for D2, we use the I prime, which consider the cos theta. Okay, we look at the example one. So we can see here in this figure, there are uh, four light points. Okay, uh, zero degree is considered the normal, the normal point. So what we can analyze from this uh, figure, okay, for example, we look at the first one, which is the normal point, okay, the normal point uh, where the theta is zero degree, okay, so zero degree, so cos theta equivalent to cos zero, which is one, one, and then times with 100%, you will get 100%. Okay. So we know that R equivalent to F over D squared cos theta. Then you can just get F over D squared uh, times with 100%. Okay. So and then uh, we can uh, try to analyze for the second one is 30 degrees. 60 degree and 85 degree uh, for the angle. So, for example, for, for example, we look at the point 60 degree. Okay. The theta is 60 degree. Okay. So, we have here cos 60 equivalent to 0 0.5, which is 50%. Then you can get the illuminance. Illuminance is uh, F over D, uh, D squared cos theta. So I prime is F over D squared times with 50% or 0.5%. 0.5.